Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I wanna talk with you today about how to grow closer to God. You know, I think sometimes we think it's an intimidating thing or we think that maybe perhaps other people are able to be closer to God. Point number one is this. There is nothing different about any human being that's ever been and that will ever be in the sense of being better or greater, less or more about knowing who God is or him knowing and wanting to have relationship with us. Each one of us is designed to be imagers of God. My grandfather used to share this with me when I was younger, and he would say that God is no respecter of persons, which is true, meaning he's not going to favor one person over another. It's up to us to trust and believe that he loves us equally and all desiring that we would image him in the earth. Point number two is this. God desires you and I more than we desire him. You know, there is this pursuit of humanity. The psalmist was asking, saying, God, why are you so mindful of men? Why are you so desirous to continue this relationship when we just keep messing up, when we just keep being human and failing him? And that's God's whole design is that he has never given up on humanity. He has never uh, removed the role that he has given us in being his imagers in the earth. And what he ultimately did was become one of us so that he could make the way for us to actually be his family, his children, his nation for him. And so God desires to be closer to you than you desire to be closer to him. That's not a uh, a, a negative aspect. That's an, an aspect that says, you know, like someone that, you know, you know, oh, they like me. You're going to be drawn to be closer to them. And when someone doesn't like you, you know, you kind of repel against them. So you need to know God loves you and he loves me unconditionally. So he's desiring for us to be closer than we at most of our times in our life are desiring. You know, the scripture says, draw close to God and he'll draw close to you. Meaning I'm here, I'm waiting on your response to my closeness and then I'll embrace as you want to embrace me. The third thing is this, I think we need to take on mindfulness of who and that God does desire these things. You know, the scripture says for us to repent. And a lot of times we confuse that with stop sinning. And that's not what the word means. It doesn't mean to stop sinning. Should we stop sinning? Absolutely. Of course we should. But what repent actually means is to change our way of thinking, change our mindset, change our thought process. If we took on a mindfulness of God, meaning we stop our mind from running and chasing other thoughts. And we think on, you know, as Paul wrote, think on these things, whatever's good, whatever is of good report and pure and holy, think on those things. And if we just, you know, and I've used this exercise multiple times in, in my ministry and life of what if in the course of our day, we just stopped within each hour that we were awake and just, God, I recognize you. And then went on about our business. And in the next hour, before that hour is up, we just stopped and we said, oh God, you're, you're so good. I love you. Just being mindful. And then we went on about our business. And then the next hour, God, thank you for loving me unconditionally. And then we went on about our business. And the next hour we were awake. Being mindful of God. Working our thoughts. The stuff we normally and actually think. All the stressful things and all the, the busy things that we do. That's, that's 
our culture trying to keep us from the culture of knowing God and experiencing him. So being mindful of who God is in our day-to-day -day life. Number four is this, is that we have to know and we have to believe God is speaking to us right now. God's speaking to you and we need to learn how to listen. So we've got to learn how to be quiet, how to stop allowing our mind to race, stop talking all the time. You know, a lot of people will say, well, you got to pray more. You got to pray more to know God. And maybe a lot of that prayer needs to be stop talking and learn how to listen. The Spirit of God is speaking to our lives. The Spirit of God is active. I mean, there's, there's a whole point of why Jesus said he needed to go away so that he could send another comforter and that other comforter would lead us into all truth. And so if you're wanting to get closer to God, God is here. He's here right now. He's in you. He's in every believer that chooses to believe upon him. And if you're not a believer yet, he's wooing you, God is, by his spirit to know him and to experience him. With that, we've got to learn how to turn off the noise and to say, well, God, you know, I want to hear you. He wants to give you wisdom. He wants to give you understanding. He wants to give it to me if I'll just listen and learn how to stop talking and start listening better. And then the fifth and last thing is this. Pray this simple one phrase prayer for the next 30 days. Just say, God, show me what you're trying to speak into my life right now. God, show me how real you are. You can phrase it any way you want. But that one simple little thought, God, show me how you are desiring to interact with me. God, show me that you're real. However you want to phrase it, just say that simple prayer over the next 30 days, every day over the next 30 days, and then watch. There will be quote unquote coincidences that will happen. There will be little thoughts about him and who he is that come to you. There will be people that might show up in your life and say something just kind of out of the blue. Not to, oh, I have a word from God. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that God's just going to be whispering to you. There may be you walk outside and you're like, wow, I never saw that before. And that's God going, yeah, this is what I created around you. I'm real. That's him saying, I love you. I've heard your prayer. God hears your prayer. Just a simple phrase. God, show me that you're real. Show me that you want to interact with me. Show me the, you know, what you're doing right now. And that simple thing. Listen, I love you. I bless you with health and healing, wisdom and knowledge, power and prosperity, and the gifts and the fruits of the Spirit of God to be evident and flowing in your life. I pray you have a fantastic week.